Prismatic Multitasker in Rose Pearl. The Prismatic, I already forgot. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foos for you today, and it was another kind of hodgepodge favorite sort of a week. Um, overall, I was really still loving that kind of fresh, sweet sort of makeup look and different sorts of things. Like I put it all together on my face today, but I was kind of playing with these things separately and then sometimes together. So it's another hodgepodge, but sort of in that fresh makeup kind of category. So yeah. Let's get to the favorites. For eyes this week, I have to go with the ColourPop Fame palette as my standout favorite. I've actually been playing with this palette off and on for a few weeks now. I don't remember when I actually got it in the mail, but as soon as I got it, I started playing with it off and on, and I absolutely love this palette. This is what the outside sleeve looks like, so just super cute design and whole theme to it. It's adorable. I also have the Fortune palette. I need to play with that more, but first impressions of that one. I love that one too. But what I love about this one, the Fame palette, is it's super cool toned. So it really is something sort of different for what the overall um, majority of palettes are. Most of them are warm toned. So this is so nice to see something cool toned that's a really, really good functional, just well-performing cool tone palette. This is so good. Like I love the little design inside to the pink design. So obviously this is what I have on my eyes today and I just absolutely love it. So I have this in my crease. I have a little bit of this in my crease just to deepen it up. This is such a pretty color. I love that one. And then I have just a little bit of this in my outer corner and then also as my liner. And I love this on the lids. I have this on the lids and then I have something under it that I'll show you in just a second. But look how pretty these shadows are. I mean, I I really, really need to show my ColourPop palettes more love on my channel, and I, I don't know if I need to do reviews on them or just use them and get ready with me's more. I do, you know, talk about them in my Friday favorites, but I don't feel like I communicate well enough how much I really, really love my ColourPop palettes. I've just been so impressed with all of them. Like every time I get one, I'm just blown away by the quality because the mattes blend so easily. They are really, I said this about the Mally shadows last week. I described those as really like such a perfect formula and I really do feel the same way about the ColourPop shadows because they just work. The mattes, practically blend themselves. I mean, they are pigmented, but buildable. I would say that these are a little bit more pigmented. Well, I was gonna say a little bit more pigmented than the Mally ones, that they require a little bit less like building on the eyes, but I'd say they're pretty close. I'd say pretty close, but just so easy to blend, so easy to build up. They wear really well. And then the metallics are all like this, like so, so good. Some of their palettes have some of those, um, oh, satiny sort of shades with some micro shimmer in them. Those are not my favorites. Um, they're still very functional for what kind of shadows those are, but that kind of shadow from any brand is not my absolute favorite kind of a shadow. So those I don't prefer as much in the ColourPop palettes or in any palette, but their mattes and their metallics are just in incredible. So, so good. So if you've thought about this palette, I absolutely love it. I think it's so nice. I think it's so cute, great quality, good price point. I don't think you'll be disappointed unless you don't like cool toned shadows. If you don't like cool toned shadows, don't get this one, but get another one because they're all really good quality. So what I have under that kind of silvery shadow is this liquid shadow. This is from Ofra. This is the liquid eyeshadow bossy eyes. And this is in Penthouse. So there are three different shades of these liquid shadows. And when they first came in the mail, I wasn't very sure about them because they are very, very liquidy. And I wasn't sure how's that, how, how's, I wasn't sure how that was gonna translate on the eyes. I wasn't sure how that was gonna translate on the eyes. And also they don't swatch super impressively. I mean, they, they look okay. 
There's one that is um, kind of a coppery sort of color, and that one got a little patchy in a swatch. So I just really wasn't sure about these shadows going from a swatch, but sometimes a swatch doesn't tell you the whole story. So I've tried these on my eyes several times. Um, I haven't tried the gold one, but I've tried the coppery shade several times. I started with that one because I was most curious about that one since it swatched a little funny. And then I've worn this one several times and they're great on the eyes. No problems on the eyes. They are buildable. Um, they don't get weird when you build them and they really do look very nice. Like this one is swatching better than the coppery one. So I would say if you do try these and get these, don't go by the swatch. Use them on your eyes because on the eyes, they're really, really nice, very metallic. Um, first pass, they're a little bit more sheer, but that's why I say that they build on themselves nicely because you can build them up. Then they get a little bit more metallic-y. They wear very well. So yeah, I was wearing this a lot this week, this particular shade, because it goes really, really well with the Fame palette because it's that kind of silvery, taupey, cool tone sort of a color. For cheeks this week, I veered in the total opposite direction and my standout favorite is a very, very warm color. This is an orangey kind of a color. This is also from Ofra. This is the blush in Mai Tai. I think this was originally part of like a spring or a summer collection, but I believe that they still have this blush. This is so pretty. I love the design in it. I think it's really cute. The little, you know, triangles and and triangles <laughs> and then whatever these shapes on the sides are just geometric shapes they're really pretty like a fun little added extra design but this is such a nice blush these have a great formula to them I do have um, a highlighter on that I'm about to share with you so you can kind of see this but then I have it topped with a highlighter but I was just so impressed when I first tried these blushes by this formula so I will show you this quickly. So there it is right there. So that's just one quick pass. And then you can really build these up. I mean, they're not not pigmented at the beginning. They're very pigmented at the beginning. But if you like a super like statement looking cheek, just that pop of bright, um, fun color, that spring summer cheek, these are great blushes for that. This is kind of like pretty much a matte. I mean, you really don't have, I wouldn't even call it even a satin. It's really just a matte. So you have flexibility there. You can keep it matte or you can use some, you know, beautiful highlight over it. But I mean, look at it. That's a statement cheek. It's a very bright, fun pop of color. But then, I mean, you can blend it out and it never really gets to be it's not a subtle blush. It doesn't get to that point, but it is uh, diffusable. Is that a word? I don't know. But you can diffuse it out and make it a little bit softer looking, but it's still going to have that, that little pop of fresh color on the cheeks. So I love these. There is a very neutral color that's probably my standout favorite. I just use that one the most just because it's the most neutral, but there's this one. And then there is kind of a more of a corally sort of color that it has more pink in it than this one this one's more of that orangey bright pop then this highlighter that's on my cheekbones and up on the sides of my temples so pretty is this right here this is beautiful this is the laura geller dew dreamer illuminating drops so this is in diamond dust but i have all four shades of these i believe I believe they're just the four shades. They sent me four shades. So I think that there's just the four, but Diamond Dust was my standout favorite this week. And I'm still trying to decide what my overall favorite is because they're all really pretty. There's this one and there's kind of a, another opaly sort of shade. I really, really like that one too, but this is the one that I'm wearing right now. And this is the one that I was grabbing for this week. These are really fun and something different. You know, this is an example of why I like makeup. Just because it's fun to play with, it's creative. I love things that are different, that you kind of have to play with how you apply them, and that they're just something out of the box. So these are really out of the box. So the Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops, you open them up and it's got kind of a little dropper sort of a thing, but I don't ever really like get it in the dropper. Like I don't use that much product. I really just kind of get it on the little thingy and then I either wipe it on my cheeks or I use my fingertip or um, I use a stipple brush. That's what I did today. I got it like 
I just basically kind of wiped it across my stipple brush and that was the perfect amount of product. And then I kind of built it up. So here it is not blended out. And then when you blend it out, it's so pretty. And a little bit does go a long way with these. That's why I build it because if you get a lot on your brush, you're just gonna have it all over your face because you're gonna have so much product to blend out. So that's why I like to use just a little bit, apply it, then build it up a little bit more with another layer. So just kind of build so that you can keep it, you know, in that concentrated area or wherever you're trying to apply it on your face. But you can see it just becomes this kind of opaly, soft, beautiful kind of a highlighter. So it's not, um, it's not intense metallic. If you are looking for an intense metallic highlighter, this is not the one for you. But if you like that soft, sweet sort of look on the skin, I mean, you could really apply this all over. I mean, you could use it. I haven't ever used it this way, but I'm sure you could mix it with your foundation. I'm sure that you could apply it with a beauty blender or something and just really get that super glowy, um, just angelic kind of skin look. That is so beautiful. I love it. And bonus, this smells really, really good. So I didn't notice it when I first opened these and was swatching them, but I noticed it when I was applying it on my face because it's real subtle, which I love that about it. It's not in your face fragrant, like, like standing right here or sitting, I'm sitting, like sitting right here, I don't smell it. But if I bring my hand to about right here, I can smell it. And it's a soft, subtle, sweet sort of smell. It reminds me of something from my childhood. Maybe strawberry shortcake. It's just a sweet, soft um, dessert candy sort of a scent. But like I said, it's very, very subtle. So I love that about it. It's just a fun little added extra to it. So. It's just a fun makeup product and it's beautiful. So it's fun to play with and it's gorgeous on the skin and I do feel like it's something different. Bonus, it smells good. For lips this week, my first favorite was this little guy right here. Super duper cute. Y'all know I love tiny makeup. This is the Bite Beauty. Oh gosh, I don't know if I can read that. It's the some, oh, Prismatic Multitasker in Rose Pearl. The Prismatic I already forgot. <laughs> Prismatic Multitasker in Rose Pearl. This is a fun, uh, I was gonna say lip product, but this is a fun multitasker. It's just, oh my, and in a swatch it looks so interesting, but I wore this on my lips and I thought it was so fun. <gasps> oh, that's really interesting. When I'm swatching it here, I haven't actually swatched this. I've only ever just put it directly on my lips. When I'm swatching it here, it straight up looks coppery gold. When I hold it up and look in the mirror, it's looking very, very pinky, burgundy, uh, raspberry sort of color. So it's, oh, there you can see it. So it's a very strong flash to it. Like it really looks like you're basically wearing this on your lips, but then it's got this interesting flash to it. So it's really fun. When I was wearing it, Tim even said, he was like, I really like that lip color. It's something different. So yeah, you can put this on your cheeks because it's a multitasker sort of a product. Let me do a little blending so you can kind of see it blended out. I haven't used it that way. I really just, you know, I don't know if I would like it that way. I really think I, uh, maybe, maybe blend it out under a blush or something or as a highlighter. I'm not really sure, but I liked it as a lip color. I think I'm gonna pretty much stick to using it as a lip color, but it was one of my lip color favorites this week. And then my last favorite for the week, I've really been enjoying the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lips. I think they're fun. I think they're um, something different because they have prismatic ones. I mean, not super different. There are other brands that are doing prismatic, you know, shimmery sort of lip products, but I don't know, something different for ColourPop, I guess. I've just really been liking ColourPop lately. So this is the shade Feedback, and that's what I've got on my lips right now. I got a few different shades of these, but this was definitely my standout favorite. Um, I do have it on with a lip liner just to give my lips a little bit more shape. I didn't fill in my lips. I typically do that with glosses, um, just really kind of up on the top part of my lips just to uh, sort of give them shape. I mean, that's really what I'm doing when I use a lip liner with them. I just kind of fill in this part right here just to kind of give my lips shape. 
I've already said it like four times. I think y'all have it. The lip liner that I wore with it <laughs> is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Rose Crush. And it's just a pretty, you know, sweet, pinky sort of a shade. So this shade right here, which is Feedback, it's a really pretty um, corally color, like a pinky corally sort of color, but then it has a little bit of that micro shimmer shift to it. And it's super duper glossy. These are very, very glossy on the lips. Um, they do, uh, they say they don't feel sticky. I don't know if I would describe them as sticky as more just they're a thick gloss. That's probably how I would describe them more. Like if you apply a lot, they're gonna feel more heavy on your lips. But if you apply just a little bit of them, um, I, I really like them. I think they're a good formula. They're kind of that in between. They're not super sticky, but they're not not sticky where they're not gonna stay around. They're really in that middle zone, but I would say slightly sticky is where I would put them. These do have a different sort of applicator from their other uh, glosses and whatnot that they've had in the past. It's not a doe foot, it's a brush applicator. And I like that. I think it works well. I think it applies well and just looks super duper glossy and fresh on the lips. So pretty. These have a yummy scent too. These are kind of a creme brulee sort of a scent. And this is pretty fragrant. So if you're sensitive to scents, I mean, I, it definitely has a scent to it. It's not like you have to look for it like with the Laura Geller highlighter. This is like, oh, you know it's there. But it's not, like I have it on my lips and it's not overwhelming. I can't smell it at this point. I'm used to it. So I think it's just a pretty fun, shiny, shimmery sort of lip product. It definitely has some micro shimmer in it, like gold little tiny flecks, but they're very, very tiny and I don't feel them on the lips. I think it just helps to give that glossy uh, shape and plumpness to the lips. It just looks really beautiful and shiny on the lips. So I really, really like them. I've been very impressed with them and um, I think they're fun for summer. So yeah. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.